Tom Reed here, Traverse City, Michigan. Happen to run into this gentleman. Your name, sir? Roger. Roger, how old are you? How old am I? I'm 44. Okay, and where are you from? Um, not here. I've lived here for four and a half. Well, I've lived here about five years now. Okay, and where are you from before that? Uh, I was born in Lansing. Okay. And uh, what type of work have you done in your life? I've been a construction worker all my life. Okay. And when's the last time you worked? I haven't worked since um, 2008, but I started picking up odds and ends jobs until the past two Christmases. Um, I actually had a staff infection on a MRSA. That's why my league is the way it is right now. Oh, okay. And they got antibiotics in it and antibiotics to try to save my bones right now. Yeah. Because I almost passed away both times during Christmas. Oh, so, no, sorry about that. Years. No, it's all good. I'm so alive. That's serious. So with my service dog, huh? Congratulations. That's serious, man. Almost you know passed mean? away. Wow. Yeah, I was, I was in the hospital for four months. Hey, you're uh, not to cha change the subject, but your service dog, it's like a lab pit mix. It's a lab rot. Lab rot. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, probably even more so. And how long you had this dog? Eight years. I'm curious. I'm glad I talked to you because how does this service dog thing work in the real world with regard to how it's accepted with people? Oh, it's, they don't like it. They want, it actually gets a lot of ask for my paperwork. Yeah. And stuff like that. And there's a lot of places like the library kicked me out, so I don't even got a place to go warm. How can they kick they, you out when it's illegal? They did it. They put me out for six months because of it. Well, wow. now what kind of paperwork do you get and who gives it to you? Yeah, it's through the um, National um, Humane Society. Um, it's a service dog rewards he's just for diabetes and then um he rolls me over if i have a seizure and then he's also emotional support oh okay now uh a service dog in your case does what for you he also my diabetes he'll roll me over for a um if i have a diabetic like a seizure uh -huh. so i don't bite my tongue he helps me with that and then um he just emotional support to keep me you know happy and stuff okay now, so this was a trained dog from somewhere? No, I trained him myself. Everything. No kidding. He, 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 six months old, he was pulled, he was rolling me over. Wow, and he's how old now? He's eight now, so. Wow. Now, I know you can't bring a dog in, like, one of these facilities, yeah, you right? Can. Oh, you See, can? They can't stop me. This is a service dog. So do so you stay there sometimes? Federal, federal, federal law states that even if it's just an emotional support, they have to let you in. Do you, do you stay there here then? Yes. Oh, okay. And they're pretty cool about it. Ah, uh, yes. To a point. Good. Yeah. And what do you do? Now, I'm assuming you don't have income. Uh, no, I have, I'm on disability. Oh, yeah. It's not much. It's like $7.50 a month. But, so you, you have know. enough to buy the dog food. Oh, yeah. yeah. But if you he, didn't... He's taken care of. You yeah. Know, so. I know. I, I believe that. Yeah. But what I was getting at is if you didn't, could you get food from the shelter? Or no, no. Absolutely not. No. I'd have to go out and fly a sign to try to get money. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So. Now, uh... So you would be homeless? I am homeless, yes. I've been homeless for four years now that when my ex, um, well, since the pandemic, the day of the pandemic started, she kicked me out on the streets and I've been living in the, in the, shelter, in the shelters since then. Oh. And living now, in tents down in tents. What's a guy like you do when the morning comes and you're supposed to leave? I pack up my stuff. If it's warm, if it's cold out, I put my dog's snowsuit or there's different outfits that he's got to get up to be warm. And then we walk around for 10 hours. You're kidding me. Nope. Even in this super cold, like... That's like I said, with them being able to go to the library and all that stuff, and them doing what they're doing, it's, it's hard to get warm sometimes. Yeah, did you try and get a bottom line answer from the library, what the deal is? They said it was because there was no visible tags, and I wouldn't give them my paperwork, um, that I'm not allowed to go back. You know, why wouldn't you do that if you wanted to be in there? You just didn't feel it, like it? I, it's not their business, for one thing. It's, you know, like I said, it's against the law, and I was... Yeah, I was getting sick and tired of the way she was treating me and everything like that. And I was like, all right, I'll just let you do it. And then I'm, I'm already having something else working on to have this, you know, where they can't do it anymore. Okay. Favorite childhood memory? Favorite childhood memory? Yeah. Um, um, just going for walks with my mom, I guess. Okay. Favorite movie? Favorite movie? Um, Big, Le Big Lebowski. Okay. Favorite book? I don't read. Favorite rock group? Rock group? Um, say, I don't know, Tom Petty. Okay. Now, uh, people might want to try and uh, get a hold of you, send you something, whatever, help you out. It happens a lot, and I've been forgetting to ask some of these people. I haven't done interviews for a while. Uh, do you have an email or something to get a hold of you? You yes. don't need to give it out. It's I, up I, to you. I'll give my, I'll give my number, my phone number if you want. I wouldn't do that. Okay. I'd give my email. Well, though. my email is full email. Yeah. Uh, it's Elizabeth Tompkins, mm -hmm. 1977.